Hey guys, Draper here, and welcome back to. Give me a second. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, there we go. <laughs> it's a little early. I mean, it's noon. I woke up like three hours ago. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night. I also just, uh, got done working on more of the Concordia video that hopefully came out around the 31st. Preferably on the 31st. Hmm. Hmm. Tensions seem high. From what I gather, it seems an official summit is to be held between Morardane and Uriah. A summit? You mean about the recent puncture? But I thought... Didn't Praetor Amalthus get them to stop and sort it all out? Perhaps there are some discussions they would prefer Indol not to be privy to. Besides, Uriah doesn't like to associate too closely with Indol. They'd hate to be seen as acquiescing to the Praetor's will. Got to keep up appearances, you know. Acquiescing? You what? Like letting him tell them what's what. <laughs> For such a span, are you sure you some big words? I'll come. Stop calling me that. Buzz off, kitty no mates. Anyway, this summit would explain why Morag isn't around. Indeed, she has much to attend to. All right. Shared sovereignty over Gormot. Yes. I don't think anything less would be sufficient to placate them. The Senate would never approve it. I can overrule them by decree. Of course, I would need to secure Senator Roderick's cooperation. Imperial decree? If it's come to that, well, then I cannot dissent. I cannot help but admire your courage, your majesty. That means a lot, coming from you. Acting Chairman Nira Nira. Sorry for intrude. Is emergency. So Nira Nira take liberty of drop by unannounced. You certainly look troubled, Chairman. So what is this emergency you speak of? Hmm. Well. I'm huh. curious. A uh, little worried, but it's probably fine. So, we can make our way to Tantal from here. I assume the Praetor has a ship waiting for us. Hey, Shalad. What? Are we really gonna just leave Morag behind? Who's leaving anyone? She's got her own priorities, you know? Yeah, but still. Anyway, her schedule is filled with official duties right now. Mm. For sure. It's just a bit of a shame is all. <coughs> you know, since we came all this way together. I guess I know how you feel, chum. Huh? Speak of the devil. Hmm. Banners going for the summit. On top of everything, an assassination attempt. If blood gets spilled at the summit, it'll mean war. War's good for business, after all. I guess he wants to use that to get himself back in with the guild. 
Why, that little? I was wondering where he'd slunk off to. What a sneaky git. It seems acting chairman Nira Nira wishes to take care of this incident covertly, to avoid it reflecting badly upon the guild. Hmm. So you came to us? If we mobilize the army, the whole thing will become public. Oh, I get it. So we're a more convenient solution. I'm not forcing you. If you refuse, Bridget and I will do what we can alone. Ah, come off it, lady. You wouldn't even think of dragging us into this if you thought you could handle it on your own. I suppose not. You know Banna as well as I. There's no telling what he might be plotting. According to acting chairman Nira Nira, several giant weapons were being built at the factory where we last saw him. Hmm. And one of them is currently unaccounted for. Oh. Giant weapons. Got it. Besides, you know, we've got our own score to settle with him. Thank you. It will be easier to focus on my duties knowing you are on the case. Good luck. Leave it to us. All right. Uh. Yes, that is the active quest. Someone down this way. Yes, okay. Hello. Interesting. Interesting. <coughs> Hello. So he's absolutely planning an assassination attempt. <laughs> Oh. Hey, look what I found. Congratulations. Trust that though.
That is absolutely... Honestly, the Orions seem a little more hostile than the Ardenians. Huh. Hostile in the sense of, um, they really, they really seem to dislike huh. them. Unlike, uh, the Orions huh. seem to really <laughs> dislike Ardenians, unlike, uh, Ardenians who seem to just be <laughs> suspicious of your ions. I don't know. I might be reading that wrong. Well, I mean, the big box. I, I don't know how no one's thought about how the big, giant box is a little suspicious. Huh. It's not a box of ingredients. I feel like that's probably just Banna with the uh, giant robot hiding, ready to attack. You know, I might be wrong about that, though. We'll see. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. See? That box. Yep. Yeah. I, I called it. The big box. It's gonna be the big box. What? Hey! Look what I found! Like, I don't know what you expected. What, what you guys expected. It's just the big box. It's absolutely the big box. And there are Turkins. Yep. <laughs> Those are Turkins. Wow. Just straight up. Stop everything. Hold it. What? 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 Don't play dumb. Poison. That food is poison. Poison. You kids crazy in brains. We're fast talking. Quick, grab them. Yeah. I feel like we're gonna be seen as a. Uh, Okay, for doing time this. to take you down. Great, come on then, Rex. Well so done. Well done. Maybe we're not. just making you sure. Ah. Sure. My thoughts exactly. Ah. Quicken arts. Why not? Why do we only have two people right now? Focus. So fast. Great. Well so done. Let me just make you sure. Gotcha. I no longer live. Go I for it. Got something Jack like. West. Like. Everyone's getting sacked. Ah. I'm getting fired up! Double spinning, extra! Everything is going to be fine! Hold off, break! 
That got three of them? Top or low? Let us make use of it now. Double spinning egg. We can do it. Gotcha. Go for it. Your mind. Perfect. Alright, I feel like we're gonna be deemed as wrong for that. Please wait! Papoonin, what are you doing here? What silly question! It's Papoonin who hire world famous band of gourmet chefs, fire dragons! He works for Banna. World famous gourmet chefs. More Bane, very insistent, want only very best food for important summit. Papoonin worked wings to bone finding chefs, and now what this? Oh. Uh, so you mean... These guys are... just a bunch of cooks. I did think they were not putting up much of a fight. I don't trust then him, this so... Food is actually... Someone. Murder? What this nonsense, friends, talk? I demand compensation. Friends have no idea how much time and money Papoonin spent on this. Ah, there An it is. Explosion? Huh? From where? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Explosion in the hangar! Ah, right when everyone was busy with Queen Rakura's arrival! It's really bad! The Queen is here! This is it! Rex, we need to hurry! Yeah! Hey! Hey, 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 wait! Hey! No running away! Compensation! <laughs> I can take a guess at what that explosion was. And it's not hard. Yep. <laughs> Who are you, villain? Is this some underhanded Ardavian trick? Wrong! But, but also right! Truth is complicated. Anyhow, here is where Queen dies. If it looks like Queen killed by more Ardain, me in the money again! That voice! Banner, from the Argentum Guild! Correct! Tumbucks for the Queen! But you were unseated as chairman! It's not so easy to get rid of Banner! Trade Guild of Argentum belong to Banner! Down to last screw, last drop of oil! <sighs> Hold it, Banner! Power than before. 
literally from mark on forehead. What's going on? What's that? <laughs> Even an emperor comes straight to Banner. Convenient little mark to play. Come on, Banner. Cut the bad guy talk and accept you've lost. You know you won't get away with it. What with all these witnesses here? If Banner simply kill everyone, then nobody blasts! Victory of Banner is a shock! You know we can't let you do that! <laughs> you think you handle the power of a grainy Giga Rosa? Things go very different this time! Oh boy. Do it like I showed you and we'll be okay. Mind you don't fall we like Grumps. So, yeah. Why not? Anchor shot. Eagle <laughs> eye. Sure. We wipe slow with you. Why not? I am. In yeah. your tire. In yeah. your tire. This is where we prove ourselves. In your tire. This is a jet wet flash. Anchor shot. Yeah. Why not? I am. Ha. We wipe slow with you. Maybe we'll get out of here. I like that. I like your attitude. We love sure. you. Anchor shot. Let us make use of it now. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. No one. Percival. Here I am. Break them. Come on, you. Jack and Flash. Fake them. Sure. Sure. Much obliged. Break them. We might love you. Yeah. 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 Focus. Ha! Why not? Your tire. And your tire. Yeah. And ha! Your tire. Just give me that. We're white. We're white. We're white. Much of life. Taste of We're white. Blow. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. Focus. Sure. Why not? We're white. Break down. Then a water break. A bond complete. Break down. Break down. Good down. job. I don't know why. Ready to destroy. Hit it now. Great fool opposes me. Blade combo, third stage. Awesome. Much of life. Both on. Great. Yeah. 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 Ye
Wait, really? supposed to die there probably not right <clears throat> it's fine we'll get them yet try to do it properly this time shut up mithra all right all right <coughs> let's try this instead that's the wrong way You're not getting away with this, Banna. Don't be afraid, friends. Stay in your toes. Maybe Master Pond should check user guide of Poppy. Trust in Master Pond. We made it. 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 We made all right. Make Feel good? Sure. Just 
Good damage. Doing a lot better this time for sure. That was a good battle. How? Even Giga Rosa defeated by these nasty meddling kids. This ends here, Bada. You are under arrest. The Praetorium will handle the judgment. Assassination is a serious matter. Your sentence will be harsh. Send the mercantile genius Banner. Meets an inglorious end before my very eyes. Uh, Banner is. Hmm? Banner is not kind of man to go down like this. Ah. If I go down, I take you with me. Watch out! Egeon! As you wish. <sighs> Nile Ardenek, you you sought to protect us? I'm glad. 
Majesty. Majesty! Your Majesty, please, no! Your Majesty, I have failed you. It can't be to protect us. You... Please, wake up. Nio! Nio! Morag. Dormak. Yes? Distract the others. Distract? I'm not sure I... L no. My lady, you cannot. There's still time. Hurry! Yes, my lady. There are more of them! Where? What do you say? This way! The rest of you should get to safety. Chum! I'm on it. Gonna be fine. Oh. What do you mean, imagined it? You got us all in a proper tizzy. My apologies. I thought I spied silhouettes. I did not mean to cause trouble. Is awake. What? Can it be? <sniffs> Majesty? I apologize for making you worry. Majesty! It's... It's a miracle. When Aegean returned to his core, I was certain we had lost you. Honestly, you call yourselves soldiers. First aid? Anyone who'd have it. But... his wounds... <laughs> Just scratches. <laughs> Nothing me and Dromark can't handle. You saved... <laughs> Thank you, Mia. I truly don't know how to... I will never be able to repay you for what you... Oh, don't sweat it. Let's just say you owe me when that will do fine, right? Mia. Look at that. That's an interesting plot twist. You shouldn't be up. It's only been one day. Please don't strain yourself. Ha. 
half a day off and look at all this paperwork. I swear, it's like they don't want me to sleep at all. Majesty. Special Inquisitor, I hereby issue you new orders. It is my wish that you travel with the Aegis as an emissary of the Empire. Guard her and defend her against her enemies until she reaches Tantal. Guard the Aegis? I've already discussed it with his eminence. Forgive me, your majesty. I cannot accept. Just think about what happened yesterday. It would be sheer foolishness for me to leave your side. Is that so? Huh? I can see it in your eyes. It's clear that the Aegis, or rather, that boy, has made a great impression on you. That's not. I am your special inquisitor. Ensuring your majesty's safety is my only concern. To abandon that duty and go traveling. Is this... Aegeon's? A driver who cannot even protect himself is no driver at all. Yesterday's events have made me keenly aware that I have no aptitude for it. It will be of more use in your hands. Majesty. The world is changing, Morag. I trust you more than anyone to lend that boy the wisdom and strength he will need. I miss it, you know. Lake Util and Gormot. What? Remember when the two of us would shake off the servants and go swimming there? Um, yes. Of course. Kids from the nearby village would come too. Good times. Majesty. If more Arden, no, the whole of all rest could be like that again. Wouldn't it be beautiful? Is that my new duty then? In truth, it should have been you sitting in this chair right now. The Imperial line has always passed from father to son. On the day your majesty was born, that's exactly what happened. I knew that day would come. It came as no surprise. You were raised by my father to take the throne of the Empire. As befits the daughter of my Lord Uncle Andred. And I am grateful for it. If not for him, I would never have met Bridget. Never have met them. I'd have missed out on so much. There. Those are your true feelings. <sighs> A magnificent power resides in you. Morak, power like yours exists to be used. No, You've been tied down long enough. Follow your heart, Morag Lidair. I have no words. Thank you, Your Majesty. Very well, then. I hereby accept the task you have assigned to me. That's the Morag I know and love. Make me proud. All right. Well then. <clears throat> so that's how it is. It seems our paths continue to entwine. That's awesome news. To be honest, I was really hoping there was some way you could stick around. I was just thinking of asking you myself. Saved you the trouble, did I? That you did. Thanks a bunch, Morag. All right. 
Nice. Uh, now what? <laughs> yeah, we're probably doing what we were originally going to do before. I can't help but feel that in all the confusion surrounding Banner, our concerns have been neatly swept aside. The Praetorium maintains absolute control over blade distribution. It is quite vexing. Awakening rates from natural cause are very low, which limits the pool of compatible drivers. So to create large numbers of drivers, the cleansing Indol provides is a necessity. That much I'm willing to accept. The real problem is the fact that the Aegis has awakened. Well, this is no time to be squabbling over territory. If we misread the situation even a little, Uriah itself could be sunk to the Cloud Sea's bed. Emperor Nile must surely be thinking the same thing. That's why he sent his precious Morag to shepherd them along. And now we find ourselves in their debt. Who could have predicted such an act of selflessness? Was it just the passion of youth? Or was it... M my liege? In any case... For now, we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. I hardly expect Tantor will comply with the Praetor's plan so easily, either. before he found out that there was going to be an assassination attempt <laughs> which is uh, just board a ship, right? That's all we're doing now? <laughs> Let's go! Chum, which one do you fancy? Pyra or Mithra? What? Uh, Zeke. <laughs> you can't just ask someone... Anyway, they're the same person. I've never really thought of them separately. Are you serious? But they're like totally different characters. Like Mithra is jolly intense. And Pyra is just totally mellow or, I don't know, what's the opposite of pushy? <laughs> On the outside, maybe. Pyra's got a lot of backbone, too. She can be pretty stubborn. You seem to understand them pretty deeply. Well, I suppose you are their driver. Hey. Yeah? You're a prince from Tantal, aren't you, Zeke? Why were you in the Praetorium? I mean, you can't just ask someone. Uh oh, his old man kicked him out. <laughs> Oi! No, bad blade, bad. How long have you been standing there? From about... Which one do you fancy? Which one do you fa... That's the whole conversation. As I was saying, my prince got disowned by his father. He spent all his time traveling the world for fun, instead of attending to his studies. And bye! It wasn't for fun, I was learning all about, uh... Society and international relations. <laughs> international relations, that what you call it? Oi, can it you? What are you doing anyway? Dissing your own driver. <laughs> you guys crack me up. I love him really. Oh. Anyway, he sounds tough. Zeke's dad, I mean. Tantal is an isolationist society. Crossing its borders without leave is strictly forbidden. It's been that way for ages now. Oh, hmm. But you've seen how my prince here is. Couldn't stop himself leaving a few times. So he got chewed out and disowned. Back when he was 15 or something? Yeah, something like that. Then the Praetor himself found him half dead on the ground one day and took him in. He made up that special envoy stuff. And that's how you ended up in Indong. 
It all makes sense now. Oh, but wait. Is it safe for you to go back to Tantar then? This time we've got official business from the Praetorium. It'll be fine, probably. Besides, yeah? Tantal is too ignorant of the outside world. It needs a wake-up call. Sire, we have reached the designated coordinates. Please. Right! Ready? You betcha! Huh? Shut up and sit down, chum. This'll be great! Um... My lord, Genbu has begun surfacing. I am aware it's Pandoria. Then the prince... Yes. We have received reports that he made contact with the Aegis in Indom. So after 500 years, he makes his move. Praetor Amalthus. My lord? We must act to protect our days of peace, even if they are a dream that cannot last. Hmm. A version of Tutus. It's called Genbu. It's the same like Titan type as Uriah. Normally it's submerged in the cloud sea. Even in early fall, it can get pretty cold inside Tanto. Mind you don't freeze. <sighs> I mean you can't stand the cold. I can provide my own warmth. You can stay close to me if you like. Me as well. You guys are pretty handy to have around. Well, it is our trademark, right? Essentially. Aren't you gonna be cold like that, Shellhead? I'm used to it. I'll be dandy. He's naturally dense. It's good insulation. Oh, oh makes, makes sense. sense. Stop encouraging her, gang of bullies! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well then. That's about it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.